Now let's set up our development environment to create the Spring Boot application. The first thing that we're going to need is the Java SDK. I assume you're all Java developers who are taking this course. You already have some Java SDK installed on your machine already, but if not, you need to have Java 8 installed for this course. So go ahead to the Oracle website and download the Java 8 JDK uh, if you don't have it already. And uh, when you're done, you should be able to open the command prompt and go Java dash version, and you should be able to see the Java version 1.8. It's also helpful to make sure that the Java home is set. So if I were to do a echo dollar Java underscore home, it should print out the Java home path. Of course, you can verify this uh, on Windows by going to the environment variables and making sure that the Java home environment variable is set to where you've installed the JDK. The ID of choice for this course is gonna be Spring Tool Suite. Right? That's what I'm going to be using. You can probably follow along with a different IDE, but I'm going to be using Spring Tool Suite. Spring Tool Suite is a flavor of Eclipse, which has been tweaked to work with Spring applications. It has some Spring-specific features. At this point of time, I'm not sure if you're going to be using a lot of these Spring-specific features in the Spring SDS, but by default, when I'm working on a Spring application, I end up choosing the Spring SDS IDE so that if I were to use it, it's there and available for me. In order to install the Spring Tool Suite, head to spring.io website, which is the official website for Spring by Pivotal, and scroll down till you see a link called uh, Spring Tool Suite. Learn more about SDS. All right, so here you have an option of downloading the SDS. Here, since I'm on a Mac, it's giving me an option for downloading for the Mac, but you have other versions that you can choose from as well. So download this and uh, install it on your machine. This is very similar to an Eclipse installation. And as you can see, these versions are based off of Eclipse versions themselves. So go ahead and install it. And once you've installed it, this is how the IDE looks like. Now here, we can create our new projects, pretty much like you can do with Eclipse. And uh, this is where we're gonna be creating our Spring Boot project. 